Hi, it's Dave with Single Family Home Remodeling. Uh, today we're looking at a problem we had where a tenant called up and said, I smell smoke, but there's no air coming out of the unit. We went out and tested the unit and found out, sure enough, there's no air coming out. So I went out and took the side off the case and found out that the blower was not turning. Seems as though the blower motor has pretty well seized up, so okay. Let's take the end off, and let's take the top off, and here's a picture of the top. Uh, not much to it, about 20 screws, and then plug some wires, pick it up, stand it on its side, I can now look inside the unit. Here's the uh, the blower, you can see it down there in the bottom, and stick your fingers in, making sure the power is turned off of course, stick your fingers in, and sure enough, that, bla that blower wheel is not turning at all, it's got a bad bearing in it. Um, fortunately, there is protection in there, and it didn't, didn't cause any damage. Here's the picture of the blower taken out of the unit. And here's the uh, how the blower is mounted into it. Typically, it's, you got to find. I really, I really hate to put in universal replacements. I like to make sure it's the exact replacement. That way, everything fits. Looks like there's one bolt, and then you take that bolt off, spray some WD-40 on that shaft to get it out, slide the shaft out. Uh, this in turn will let you pull the motor apart, put the new motor in, which was about $150 or so, direct replacement from the manufacturer. Put the pieces all back together, wire everything back up, and here's a picture of the uh, the blower reinstalled. Uh, turn it on, make sure everything works, go in the house and check, and it looks like we have about uh, 131 cubic feet of air coming out of this uh, unit. So this is fixed. That's all there is to it, but I appreciate it. appreciate you stopping by. Come back, and we'll uh, give you some more hints and tips. Thanks. Bye.